You know what's not on the calendar? Or maybe it is, I don't know if it's not, but Barber Appreciation Day. This is Random Act of Kindness brought to you by Global Credit Union. And you know what, barbers change lives. Barbers are making husbands attractive again to their wives. Barber can make you feel like a million bucks, like you just won a lottery and all it is is a quick haircut. But who appreciates the barbers? Let's do that today. You know what, they can eat. They've been on their feet for hours, cutting your hair, cutting my hair. Let's give them some pizza. Let's give them something to eat. They're hungry, they're human just like we are. But they make you feel better when they give you a haircut, but who's looking after them? Is Barber appreci appreciation now on the calendar? I don't know if it is. Maybe it is. If it's not, it doesn't matter because today is that day. I need to get five of your classic hot and ready pieces. Five, all right. Five, and I need a two liter of uh, Pepsi, please. Did you leave the car? I left the car. That would be 3871. Yep. You know what, bro? Cancel that order. I'll be back. I left my card in my car. I'll all be right. back. I left the card in the car. I got the card. I'm embarrassed. I had a guy, he took my order and everything, but left the car in the car so I couldn't pay for it. So I'm gonna go back and do it again. All right, 3871. 3871, you still have the order up, my man? Yeah. A lot of people don't understand it. So what's the difference between East St. Louis and St. Louis? All you do is cross the bridge. East St. Louis is in Illinois. St. Louis is in Missouri. See, I'm from Chicago, originally oh, yeah, from Chicago. So we, I mean, we kind of the same. St. Louis, Chicago is kind of almost kind of similar. The food might be better in St. Louis, though, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, it might be naked because Chicago got some good food. They do, they do, I don't know. they do. And for all the restaurants that try to bring Chicago or Midwest restaurants to Arizona and don't do it right, y'all need to stop, man. Stop it, stop, stop it. Stop it, <laughs> stop it. I wish you on that one. Stop it. Yo, look at this, pineapple Pepsi? Yo, that's crazy. Pineapple Pepsi, bro? Oh, yeah. That's insane. Different. Pineapple on pizza is already a stretch, bro. Now yeah. you're doing Pepsi now? Take care, bro. Thank you. Hey, thanks for holding that door for us as we shoot videos for our YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got the pizzas. Let's go deliver the pizzas to the barbers. Global Credit Union, thank you. Could not do this without you. What's up, girl? How you doing? All right. Yo, I'm about to take them four of these. I'm about to keep one of these bad boys for myself. Boy, that's on camera? You weren't supposed to record that. I mean, I'm just joking. These are all going to the barbers. My very first barber when I moved to Arizona, because I used to cut my own hair and I was terrible at it, but I just, just used to just go straight bald. My guy, Britt Knox, at this um, barbershop called Madrid's, which I believe it's closed down, but I started going there in the like late 90s, early 2000s. He even showed up to my wedding. My barber was so cool. He showed up to my wedding with my wife, Sarah. We got married. He showed up and gave me $100 and was like, don't tell your wife I gave you this. You need a little extra cash of your own to have some fun with. And my barber returned about 520s that I've given him over the years and gave me $100 as a gift for my wedding. And he gave me so much advice on how to keep my wife happy. Because uh, he had been through some things through a divorce. So shout out to my uh, old barber, Britt, man. I love you. I appreciate you, bro. I, I still hold true the things that you told me. It's uh, made a, a major impact on my relationship with my wife. So, And that's my barber. Your barber's become your confidant, your therapist, all of that. And they make you feel like a, a million bucks when they cut your hair. Like, we got to appreciate our barbers, man. We don't show them enough love. Wives fall in love with their husbands again because you're making them feel good. So you know what? This is for y'all, dog. Thank you. Just thank to say you. thank you, Random Acts of Kindness, man. Bring you some food to eat, get you a Pepsi. Here you go, my brother. Thank you so much, my thank friend. Thank you, man. Thank you. I love pizza. I love Me too, bro. I thank like it too. I like pizza too. No. <laughs> Here you go, brother. Uh, 321 East, uh, Camerba Road, Phoenix, Arizona, 85012. Close to 7th Street in Camelback, New York City Barbershop. Uh, I think I might need a cut. You need it. <laughs> <laughs> Random acts of kindness is all brought yeah. to you by Global That's Credit Union. We love y'all. Right Thank you. Absolutely, man. Thank you. And there it is. Random acts of kindness. Brought to you by Global Credit Union. You know, little small things, small gestures change the world. I love y'all. Till next time.